Well, hello there, everyone. Hopefully you're doing outstanding on this super Saturday. It's December 17th, year 2022. This is Maskey Finance coming to you from South Florida at the moment. And hopefully you're having an outstanding day. And as always, thank you for all the subscribers. You do not know how much I really appreciate this. The more subscribers I get, the more comments I get, it keeps me motivated to keep this channel up. Because sometimes it's like, well, do I really need to do this channel or not? But if I'm helping just one person, that's good. But then if I can help 500, even better. If I hit a, can help 1,000, even better. So if you can share my content with anyone that it might help, I do appreciate that. And hopefully it helps all of you. Because as always, I do share stories, experiences, opinions, thoughts, comments, etc., 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 and hope that it helps motivate you to get your first steps going in investing in whatever endeavor you want to invest in. I have over the years invested in mutual funds. I've invested in individual stocks. I've invested in real estate. I've invested in crypto. I've invested in oil drilling. I've invested in mineral rights acreage. I had a small investment one time. Uh, didn't pan out in um, luxury senior housing and so on and so on and so on. So, I've invested in a lot of different things. I've had success in most things I've invested in, but not everything, okay? So I'm here to try to help you out. And I do want you to get on the property ladder. I do want you to start buying real estate, because in my humble opinion, real estate, if you don't have a lot of money, real estate is probably the best way for any individual, any working American to get on their path to getting wealthy. Okay, so that being said, I once again, I'm Maskey Finance. I'm not a CPA. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a financial advisor. So before moving on, thank you for watching my video yesterday. Hopefully some of you were interested in signing up for a Wealthfront account. It can get you 4.3% um, interest on savings. Why not? If you have a savings account, because if you're going to buy real estate, you, I, you need to save up money for a down payment. Or if you already have rentals, you need cash reserves. I had a someone in my mastermind group tell me their cash reserves are getting a 0.1% rate. And it's like, to me, that's just a no-brainer. 0.1%, 1.1% barely moves the needle. 4.3% moves the needle. You can see it. And if it's your cash reserves, if, say, it's six months goes by, I don't know how much this individual has in his savings, but say six months goes by and now he has an extra $50 and the sink's leak and it costs $50 to repair it. The interest he just got pays for that leaky sink, perhaps. I mean, you know, he probably, he'll probably get more than $50 and a sink will probably cost more than $50. But you see my point there, okay? Another way to save money, because if you're trying to get your first rental or your subsequent rental, you need to save money on everything you do Combined with make as much money as you can because buying real estate can be expensive, especially when you're trying to start. Okay, another thing, to, way to save money, because what do a lot of people complain about? The price of gasoline. Gas is expensive, okay? I use an app. I had a buddy of mine. He watches my channel. He told me about this app three, four years ago. I forget exactly when. Three years ago, probably. Um, I remember when he told me about it. And I remember when I got it, but it's called Upside, U-P-S-I-D-E, Upside. It's an app on your favorite Play Store, whatever you got, Android or iOS app, an Apple phone. Um, but Upside will give you discounts. It doesn't give you discounts. Let me back up. It gives you cash back on gasoline, fuel, restaurants, and it's starting to move into grocery stores. Okay. So with that app, you, get, you keep your GPS turned on. It knows what's around you. Like around me, there's a variety of gas stations that I might get 10, 10 cents back per gallon, 8 cents back per gallon, 13 cents, 15 cents, etc., etc., etc. I might get food uh, money back on restaurants. I rarely go to restaurants. But there's a steakhouse in the city near me that I've never been to, but they're routinely having like 20% off, you know, 20% back. Uh, there's a pizza shop, pizza shop that I've never heard of here in the town I live in that has 11% cash back. Um, and then there's one grocery store in my area that just started and it get, it's given like, I forget, five or 6% back. 
And that's on top of any other discount that you may already have. Along those same lines, someone told me about this the other day. At one of the gas stations I go to, it's called Racetrack. And there's another one, Speedway. Both of them have it. They have apps for their gas stations. And I think they're like chain, they're chain gas stations. So they have apps. Those apps also give you points for something. Maybe a free drink, a free bag of chips, a free this, free that. And as you get more points, maybe you get a daily free cup of coffee or you get 10 cents off a gallon of gas combined with that discount on the upside. So if you have to buy gas already, why don't you use them? For, so for upside, what I will do, they, there is a code I can put in the description below. It's like five or six letters and numbers. I will put a code below that if you use that code to sign up, you'll get, I think, an extra 15 cents off a gallon for your first fill up. And I'll get something like one cents off a gallon, like from your fill up, something like that. I don't, I've never done this before. Okay, so it's new. Hopefully it works. Even if that code I put there doesn't work, I encourage you, if you don't have it, get the Upside app, okay? It's worth having, because if you drive, we all get gas. If you go to a gas station regularly in your area, wherever you live at, and it's like a chain gas station, check and see if they got an app. They might give you additional gas discounts. Every time you fill up, maybe you get points, and after you collect so many points, you get something free. I don't know what it might be. It might be a free sandwich. Might be, you know, whatever, something free. Along those same lines, someone told me about this. McDonald's. If you go to McDonald's, and I don't encourage you to go to McDonald's, but if you do occasionally, they have an app. They'll give you like 1,500 points when you make your first purchase. They might have a deal. Buy a double cheeseburger, get one free. Buy a quarter pound of cheese, get one free. Buy a Big Mac, get one free. Get a, buy something for a dollar, get a free six-piece chicken McNugget. Something like that. And I looked up out of curiosity... And if they had that deal going on, I could get something like this as an example. I'd pay a dollar for the basic hamburger and get a free six-piece chicken McNugget. If money's tight or you just want to save money, it's another way to save money. Why are we saving money? You're combining that with your overtime you work and your side gig to help you to get rental property. Because by getting rental property, you increase your wealth, you increase your cash flow, and... What will happen eventually is you will, sooner rather than later, you will become accredited. Accredited in a nutshell is you have a net worth of a million dollars, not counting your personal residence, okay? It can be in almost any investment, a net worth of a million dollars, not counting your personal residence. Or you make a, a very high paycheck for two years in a row with the expectation you'll keep making that income. Once you get accredited, there are other doors that open, okay, that you could invest like I do in oil drilling or mineral rights acreage, okay, something like that. So that's options to you, okay. But investing will open doors. Investing will give you options. I have talked to hundreds of people in my life about investing, going back in time. And the excuses I always hear is, I don't have enough money, I don't have enough time. Time and money. That's the excuse that I always hear. We all get the same amount of time. I've worked a lot of hours when I was working before. Even when I was working, I would buy stocks at times. Okay, or I would sell stocks at times. I could find the time during my work day while others were sitting around just do, 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 do. I might be buying and selling something on, online. You can do it nowadays on your phone. You know, it's simple. Okay, you can always find the time. And in regards to money, I just told you a couple great ways to save money on gas in restaurants, grocery stores, um, and other stuff. You know, using apps to save money. The more you can reduce expenses, the more money you can bring in, your pot grows bigger to get your first, second, third, fourth rental property. Because what happens is a lot of times, sometimes, not a lot of times, sometimes people get to three or four and they get stuck. They get stuck. I think two people in my mastermind group are kind of like stuck right now at three or four. Because it gets harder, you know. It's like you spend all your cash that you saved. And a down payment is 15, 20 grand, you know. So it gets harder. So if you use upside, I rarely, since I retired, not rarely, since I retired, I don't buy gasoline like I used to. I used to get gas once a week commuting to work. I don't anymore. I don't commute to work. I might get gas once a month. 
but I just cashed out on my, my upside app, $56, I think it was. It's my, I haven't checked, it might be in my bank account now, I don't know. It's $56. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I could use $56, okay? If I go to McDonald's once a month and I get a meal for me and the missus and I pay $4 for two of us to eat because we don't eat as much as we used to and it fills us up, why not? Or if I go get a pizza for lunch and I get it cost me 10 bucks and now I get 11% back, that's like a dollar 10 I get back through the app. Why not? You know, it's something to think about. Along the way, the more you save, don't spend it. And I don't encourage you to eat out a lot because it's cheaper to eat in than it is to eat out. But you can combine discounts. So when you do eat out, you get more bang for the buck. So when you do buy, buy gas, you get more bang for the buck. And if you follow my suggestions on credit cards, like my money's tight right now for a variety of things. I told my mastermind group, I've spent close to hundred grand on rehabs in the past six to nine to 12 months. It's a huge number, okay, that I have had to spend. It's a good thing I had some cash reserves, right? Um, but I use credit cards when I can to get points. So even though I don't have a lot of cash right now, because I'm trying to build back up so I don't sink, I'm trying to build back up, because uh, you know I'm teetering on the edge there, let's say, shall we say. Uh, I may take a free trip at Christmas time. I mean, it'll cost me a little bit of money, but I may, I got plenty of ho free hotel rooms, you know, and I get discounts on gas and I get discounts in restaurants. So I, and if I use my credit card, I get more points. <laughs> and so I may take a trip like that during the, uh, the Christmas holiday. We shall see. All right. So with that being said, click, look below for the Upside app. Look for the other apps I've talked about. Have yourself a great day. And tomorrow, I'm going to try to get a special guest to talk about my potential move. No guarantees because I haven't contacted. It's two different people. I haven't contacted them yet. So no promises. It may not happen tomorrow. But if not, I will be talking about what I've been doing and what's in progress in regards to my pending move. So that being said, have a great day. Love life. Thanks again for watching. I love you all. Take care. Maskies signing out.